So we're being asked to find the Laplace transform of this function. Before we do it, recall the formulas. So recall, if you have the Laplace transform of t to the n, this is equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1. And this is valid for n equals 1, 2, 3, etc. And if you have the Laplace transform of 1, this is just 1 over s. Uh, you'll notice if you plug in 0 to the first formula, you just get the Laplace transform of t to the 0, which is the Laplace transform of 1. And using n equals 0 in this formula, even though we're not supposed to, because it doesn't say you can, you get 0 factorial over s to the 0 plus 1. 0 factorial is 1, so you just get 1 over s. So it does work if n is equal to 0, but the Laplace transform of 1 just comes up so much that it's better to identify it separately. Okay, let's do this problem. So the Laplace transform of t squared plus 3t minus 4. Now, the Laplace transform is a linear operator, so that means you can do this. This is the Laplace of t squared plus 3 times the Laplace of t minus 4 times the Laplace of 1. So for the first piece, n is equal to 2, so we get 2 factorial. And then on the bottom, it's just always 1 higher, so s cubed plus 3. Here, n is equal to 1. There's a 1 here, so it's 1 factorial. And it's always 1 higher, so s squared minus 4. And we know the Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. You see, we didn't have to think about the formula when we got to the 1. That's why it's useful to have it written down separately. So the final answer will be 2 over s cubed plus, well, 1 factorial is 1. So we just get uh, 3 over s squared minus 4 over s. And that's it.